Hello, I'm Jason Kelly. Thank you for watching. In this video, I'll look at whether higher education is worth the rising cost. Tuition in the United States is soaring. Look at this chart from the American Enterprise Institute using data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. This shows price changes from 1996 to 2016. Notice in that, that 20 year period that healthcare went up, well, a little over twice, went up a little over 100%. Child care, more than that. Food, beverages, and housing were right along the median line of over, overall inflation. New cars, cell phone service, toys, and such became a lot cheaper. What are the obvious, most rising, dramatically soaring costs on the chart? Textbooks and college tuition both up around 200%, way more than every other category. Naturally, student debt is soaring as well as the cost of college goes up, and we can verify that easily enough. The February 2017 quarterly report on household debt and credit from the New York Fed reported, quote, Outstanding student loan balances increased by $31 billion and stood at $1.31 trillion as of December 31st, 2016. That $31 billion jump was in Q4 of last year alone. It's a growing percentage of overall debt. Look at this chart from later in the report. Notice over time, the, the percentage of overall debt occupied by student loans has risen quite a lot. Look at that expanding bar in the chart. It's currently 10% of overall debt. Now, of course, the, the vast majority of debt is for mortgages, which could be a good investment if the, the price of housing is appreciating. The question for student debt, could that be a good investment? Well, we don't know yet, do we? We'll get to that in a second. Before we get to that, let's see how much of a burden this growing student debt is on people. We can see easily later in that same Fed report, it's becoming a terrible burden. This is the percent of balance for loans that are 90 days plus delinquent by loan type. Notice on here, the only line rising is student loan debt. It's, it's way up above 10% now. And 10% of loans 90 days plus delinquent as a rising percentage of debt for a rising cost of college, we can see there's an enormous burden going on here. Why might this be? Presumably, the cost of college is, is rising because the value of a college degree is rising. We need to have a college degree to get ahead, to get a job, to make more money. That's how the party line goes. That's what university administrators tell us all the time. Is it true? Let's have a look. The Washington Post reported in December 2013 that between 2003 and 2012, the median income of U.S. college graduates with bachelor's degrees dropped from almost $52,000 to just above $46,000, both of those in 2012 dollars. Four years later, to where we are now, how do things currently stand? According to the Class of 2016 Student Survey Report from the National Association of Colleges and Employers, just over 46% of 2016 graduates received a job offer before graduation. That's down from 51% from the class of 2015. How about the salaries? The median salary offer was $47,358, which is 4.9% less than the inflation-adjusted 2012 figure of 48388 High cost, high debt, and falling compensation is no good. Television host Mike Rowe put it aptly. He said, we are lending money we don't have to kids who can't pay it back to train them for jobs that no longer exist. That's nuts. Why don't the jobs exist anymore? The short answer is outsourcing, sending jobs overseas, and automation. The workforce of the future is going to be algos and bots. This trend is accelerating and making it much harder for highly trained, deeply indebted human beings to land the good jobs they need to crawl out of debt and get ahead in life. 
Knowledge is never a waste, but we need to stop thinking about higher education as job training and reprice it accordingly. I encourage you, if you're a parent of somebody who might go to college someday, to think very carefully and critically about the trade-offs, what the purpose is of going to school anymore, and what the benefits will be versus the very high burden that it imposes on a family. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you liked it, please do give it a like on YouTube so that other people can find it more easily. If you are not yet a Kelly Letter subscriber, please get on the list. I hope to see you there. And if you are a Kelly Letter subscriber, I will see you on Sunday.